Barack Obama, they felt it. He was in Martha's Vineyard. Yeah. Okay, we're talking about an earthquake that the epicenter is southwest slightly of Washington, northeast slightly of Richmond, and it's felt in Boston. Yeah. But that happens in the east. The, the soil structure in the east allows the shock waves to just roll out forever. In the west, you've got things like the Sierra Nevada and the Rockies. <laughs> and so, I mean, a 5.8 in, in L.A. won't even be felt in San Francisco. But here we have it going much further. So there's a tendency for people who live in areas that don't have frequent earthquakes to think they don't have any earthquakes. And that's a big mistake because... Um, as we saw in New Zealand, the city of Christchurch was deemed to be of moderate seismic risk. They didn't even know about that fault that broke. The fault that broke in Haiti was not the one they were worried about. It was a fault they didn't know about. So there's a, there's a tendency. We don't know as much about fault structures as we think we do. We kind of know where the big ones are. Uh, the ones basically from Chile to Alaska, past Japan, and down to New Zealand, and then in the Mediterranean. Um, but we, we tend not to think about smaller events in areas that, smaller, very infrequent events. So this is kind of a little reminder. In California, we would call this a dish rattler. Since USGS headquarters is in Reston, Virginia, not that far from the epicenter. They should have some very good stories to tell about their mapping of the Virginia area because there's obviously a fault there that either we didn't know about um, or that was discounted.